which I probably yeah. am not working because mm -hmm. I didn't you work. You know, Paul. Hello. That was, <laughs> that was the funniest opening ever, wasn't it? Well, what you all don't know is that um, both Smokey and I came late tonight, and he didn't have his lavalier on, his microphone. And um, Daryl, who directs the show, was trying to do sign language from the doorway to Smokey to have Smokey go back and get it himself while he was playing and put it on. But Smokey couldn't figure out what he was doing, so... No, 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 no. So okay. Daryl came right. and got the lavalier and put it on Smokey while he was standing, while he was playing, in order to make this shot where we open the show. Okay, that's okay. close. That's close. But let me tell my side of the okay, story. You tell your I didn't side. come late, just a little bit, you know, on the edge because of the traffic, et cetera, oh, et cetera. Edge, yeah. So I was, I was there on time. But then the, the, the lavalier was somewhere hidden by the curtain, right? right. But I got into playing the intro. Right. And then Daryl thought... If he walked in front of the camera, he would be Stop. messing up the shot, you yeah. know, not realizing that the he opening was sequence the was in the, yeah, exactly. So he's telling me, go get the lavalier, right? Which he's doing I, sign language. Sign language. And I figured, I knew what it meant. It meant get the lavalier, but I couldn't get the lavalier and stop playing, you know, and keep, right. continue playing the, the instrument. So Daryl came in and then he got the lavalier, put it on me. And ran. And ran. And we kept playing. Right and that on. was that's how the show began. Yeah. You had to be there. <laughs> yeah, had to be there. Gee whiz, how are you, Sally? I'm good. I see your eyeglasses match your shirt. That's cool. It's a pretty ama amazing event. Yeah. It just happened to be. Because, you know, I just went in the closet. I said, I need a shirt. I can't, right. you know, do the show bare chested. I'm, I'm not Tarzan or anything like that. So I grabbed a shirt. And then I said, well... I should get sunglasses, not necessarily for the show, but for the miraculous journey. Right. You know, through urban streets. So Sundown. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the sun was still out. So I went in the, in the um, sunglass bag and p pulled them out. And I went, oh, they, they do match. Wow. Unbelievable. And then, of course, you know, I felt like I just got in this plant mood. So I felt like a kind of a gardener. You know? Yeah, you're kind of a tree. Kind of, a, a well, I don't, know, I don't know about a tree or a bush, but a gardener, maybe. Right. But if you think I'm a tree or a bush, a I'm very... A chaplain-esque gardener. I'm very honored. I mean, after all those trees, they're really pretty nice. They, they don't... You have trees and, and stems on your shirt. I had no idea. 
What do you feel like playing? I have no idea. But, I mean, the journey itself was, you know, so I thought maybe you would talk about certain things, you well, know. Let's see, I mean, we had Charlottesville, and then we had Charlottesville, and we, all day long on TV, we have Charlottesville. Just horrible. I think it's very sad. So I think anything happy and bluesy and great you can do, mm, 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 get mm, us mm. up. All right. Oh, okay, let's do uh, T for Texas. Okay. The old Jimmy Rogers song, but we'll rock it up. Okay. And then there's a the verse about the shotgun and everything, but I'll keep it in. It's okay. weird, but, you know, in those days, I guess, if you wanted to, you know, keep somebody in line, you pull out a shotgun and you go bang, bang, you know. But You, I, you face it to the ceiling? I hope, you know. I never understood that line. I mean, he says he's going to mm -hmm. shoot that old Thelma just to see her jump and fall. That's a line in the song? Yeah, but this is like 1930 or something like that, so maybe that's what they did in those days. I don't know. Well, it's T for Texas, and it's T for Tennessee. And T for Texas, and it's T for Tennessee. T for Thelma, that gal who made a wreck out of me. I don't mind marrying, but I can't stand settling down. I don't mind marrying, but I can't stand settling down. I'm gonna be like a preacher. I'm gonna ride from town to town. Gonna tell Mama, I'm gonna ask you to bring me back. If you go to town, little Mama, I'm gonna ask you to bring me back. A pint of whiskey and a John B. Stetson hat. Shotgun, just as long as I'm tall. I don't buy me a shotgun, and just as long as I'm tall. Don't shoot that old Thelma, just to see a jump and fall. Texas and it's cheap for Tennessee. Yeah, cheap for Texas and it's cheap for Tennessee. Well, it's cheap for Thelma, that gal who made a wreck out of me. That's fun, huh? Yeah, really nice. Yep. He did a lot slower, but we rocked it up a bit. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, that line, I got, I still got to figure out where, it, I mean, if that kind of thing was going on in those days, you know, just get that shotgun. Was he a cowboy? Jimmy Rogers was, he was a, he was a brake man on the railroad. Really? And uh, from the granddaddy of country music. Yeah, that I knew. Yeah, the singing break man, the yodeling break man. You know. and, and how long did he live? When did he die? He died pretty young. He died about, hmm, I think it was about 1933, had no. tuberculosis. And he only it was really active as a recording artist.
for RCA for a few years, and, but he was the most popular singer in the world at that time. In the 30s? Yeah, late 20s, early 30s, yeah. Mm. Wow. What else you got up your sleeve? No, oh, I don't know. I had nothing. I got, you know, an arm. <laughs> Looks like you've been in the sun. Well, I take these walks, you know, oh. clear my head. It's good for you, apparently. Right. You know, that's what they tell me. Well, let's see, what else do we got? Oh, you know, it's, um, of course, it's, 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 you know what today is, right? No. Uh, um, it's the anniversary, 77, in 1977. How many years is that now? 89, 30? No, 77, 87, 97, 2007, 2000, 40. 40. 40, the king died. Elvis. Elvis. Oh, we're going to do an Elvis song? Sure, sure, sure. Oh, I don't know if we did. Well, yeah, it's a good one, you know. Well, you know I can be found Sitting on them all alone If you can't come around At least please telephone Don't be cruel To a heart that's true Baby, if I made you mad For something that I might have said Please let's forget the past The future looks bright ahead Don't be cruel To a heart that's true oh, Why should we be apart Really love you baby Cross my heart Hey don't stop thinking of me Don't make me feel this way Come on over here and love me You know what I want you to say Don't be cruel why, that's true Now why should we be apart Really love you, baby Cross my heart Let's walk up to the preacher Let us say I do Then you know you have me And I know that I have you too Don't be cruel To a heart that's true Oh, why should we be apart? Really love you, baby Gross my heart Don't be cruel To a heart that's true Don't be cruel why, that's true I don't want no other lover Maybe it's just you I'm thinking of Yay! Great song. Thank you. Thank, well, thank you. Otis Blackwell for writing it and Mr. Elvis Presley. He, Otis wrote it? Yeah. You know, there's a woman named Rebecca Tude who's doing a book on my mother. My mother, the fashion editor of Vogue and Life magazine. And I was telling her that in the 50s, when I was in pre-high school, I guess, I don't know, um, I had to educate them all over at Life Magazine of who Elvis was. I have to say, you put him on the cover, all your kids are going to think you're completely unhip. Oh. So Elvis made the cover of Life Magazine partially because of young Sally Kirkland, teenager, you know, bawling her mother out that she didn't, yeah. That was Dude. probably 1957 or something, something like that. Wow, that's great. Yeah. Wow. So you got your mother to straighten up and fly yeah, right. Yeah, about Dylan and the Beatles. She didn't know who the Beatles were. I had to explain that the mop heads were the Beatles. Wow. And that you have to put them on the cover or your kids aren't going to talk to you. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. So the kid can influence the parent. Yeah. So maybe this... Um, Ivanka can straighten up yeah, pops that'd be there. Nice. It would be really nice. Yeah. Well, who knows where she's at? But let's get out of politics. Let's get out of politics. Sad politics. What should we do? Let's see. What should we do? <laughs> Johnny Cash. Uh, all right, little Johnny Cash. Just because you asked, let's see. 
One, two, three. Oops, that's the one I didn't bring, but okay. Johnny Cash's daughter was very upset because one of the um, white supremacist uh, neo-Nazi types had a shirt that they were wearing on the in the march that um, somehow acknowledged Johnny Cash. Oh, wow. And so she wrote on, on the internet, you know, my father was, this is who he was. Mm. Thank you, please don't be wearing his words on your back. Yeah, Johnny Cash was an upstanding man. Oh, incredible. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine Keep my eyes wide open all the time Keep the ends out for the ties that bind Because you're mine I walk the line I find it very, very easy to be true Find myself alone when it's this through I'll admit that I'm a fool for you Because you're mine I walk the line As sure as night is dark and day is bright I think about you every day and night Happiness, I've known truths that it's right Because you're mine, I walk the line Got a way to keep you on my mind. Yeah, give me cause for love that I can hide. For you, I'd even try to turn the tide. Because you're mine, I walk the line. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. Keep my eyes wide open all the time. I keep the ends out for the ties that bind Because you're mine I walk the line Because you're mine I walk the line Because you're mine I walk the line I felt his energy come into the room when well, you started playing that. Johnny yeah. Cash. Huh? Mm. Oh, you know, we love Johnny Cash. Here's another one we love. Okay. <laughs> I hope I do it a good. Put that on. I think I've done this before, but you know, whatever. Mr. Chuck Berry. Okay. Close to New Orleans Back up in the woods Among the evergreens And still long cabin Made of earth and wood If a country boy named Johnny Baker He never learned to read or write so well He can play a guitar Just like a ring in a bell Go, go Go, Johnny, go, go, go Go, Johnny, go, go, go Go Johnny, go, go, go Go Johnny, go, go, go Johnny be good His mom 
mama told him someday you will be a man that you will be the leader of a big old band people coming from miles around he play your guitar when the sun go down one day your name is gonna be in late saying johnny be good tonight go 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 johnny go 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 Johnny, go, go, go Go Johnny, go, go, go Go Johnny, go Johnny be good his guitar in a gunner's sack Sipping in the tree by the railroad track And Trinia in the train sitting in the shade Strumming to the rhythm the driver's made Table passing by would stop and say Now that country boy could play Hey go! Go Johnny go 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 Johnny go 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 Johnny, go, go, go Go, go Johnny be good Go, go Johnny be good Great. Now Chuck Berry died last year, right? Yeah. Yeah. What a class act. Yes. <laughs> I told you that when I was like 13, 14, I'd go to Harlem with my friend Warren Hogue from an all-boys school. I went to an all-girls school, and we would dance in the aisles when Chuck Berry was singing. Wow. Do Fats Domino, and um, <laughs> you name them. I was there in the, C the 50s, who would be playing in Harlem at the Apollo. Um, you name them, they were playing. Wow. Um, James Brown. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> Little Richard. Bee ba ba loo ba wa right. bam boom. Jerry, Jerry, um, Jerry Lee Lewis. Jerry Lee Lewis. Yeah. I was very get blessed to mm. have that whole education of rock and roll and the Apollo. Mm. Uh, probably the only blue eyed blonde there. That's good. Music's music. Music's and music. And those guys were great. Yeah. I saw Little Richard one time in uh, the Whiskey A Go Go out really here. On sunset. Yep. I hitchhiked out here. I, I might have told you this, but I hitchhiked out here. Somehow I ended up in the audience there. And Little Richard looks over at the first row. He says, Excuse me for sweating on you, <laughs> but that there's holy water. <laughs> and then uh, the guitar player, poor guitar player, was playing. It was either too loud or too soft. He would say, that guitar player too loud. And then he'd turn down. He'd go, that guitar player too soft. And he just rode that poor guy. It was terrible. And um, I saw him, oddly enough, walking around the streets of L.A. a few days later, the guitar player. Uh -huh. He looked like he was still in the days. <laughs> <laughs> it was something else. James Brown, he, he ran up to me one time. Oh, wow. The Lone Star Cafe in New York City. He looked at me, he gave me a big bear hug. He says, who are you? I know you're in the business. Excuse me. Oh, oh this is, we finally getting a phone call? From Ronnie Blakely. Oh, cool. So we are Ronnie Blakely from Nashville. And from, you're calling in on Sally Kirkland and Friends with Smokey Miles playing guitar. Hi. Hi, you're on TV. Can we put her on speaker and have her sing along? I don't know how to do, uh, oh. I can hear you. Too bad we can't put you on speaker and have you sing along with us. What song can Smokey play? Television. Smokey's playing on television now. I don't know, maybe you recognize it. Mama, take this badge oh, off of me. I can't use it anymore. It's getting dark to dark to see. 
feel I'm knocking on heaven's door Knock, knock, 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 knocking on heaven's door I'ma put my guns in the ground I can't shoot them anymore That long black cloud is coming down I feel I'm knocking on heaven's door Knock, knock, 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 knocking on heaven's door I'ma take this badge off of me I can't use it anymore It's getting dark, too dark to see I feel I'm knocking on heaven's door Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Can we get a solo here from Ronnie? Can we get a solo from Ronnie. We're going. We're going out in a minute and thirty seconds. She got quiet. Here we are. I'm getting a solo. I'ma put my guns in the ground I can't shoot them anymore That long black cloud is coming down I feel I'm knocking on heaven's door Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Mama, take this badge off of me. She liked that. <laughs> yeah, I'll call you when I'm home. Okay, you want to say hi to Smokey? Hold on. Hi, Ronnie. Good. <coughs> We're rocking and rolling here. <laughs>